get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today, I'm especially excited. We have Chris Voss. He's spent 24 years in the FBI and was the FBI's lead international kidnapping and hostage negotiator for four years. He was an instructor of international business negotiation at Harvard and is an adjunct professor at Georgetown and University of Southern California MBA programs. He has written one of my favorite books of all time. I do listen to three to six books per week, and this is one of my favorites. I've listened to it three times. He's the author of Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as If Your Life Depended on It. And he founded the Black Swan Group, which is a negotiating consulting firm that applies his field-tested lessons of hostage, crisis, and kidnapping negotiation to the business negotiation world. Chris, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, man. An absolute pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me it's on. It's my pleasure. And Chris, I always ask because it's Inspired Insider, and I appreciate your time. This has been fantastic. Um, in your book, anyone should check out Never Split the Difference on Audible, Amazon. Um, I always ask, what's been the lowest point in your career and how you pushed through? And then we'll talk about the proudest moment. Well, uh, I think we, they, that unfortunately, they were both very close together really? in, 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 the, in, the, in the same case. Um, when I get the call at about 5.30 in the morning, the Martin Burnham had been killed in the Philippines. To me, that was, uh, that was the lowest point professionally, personally, that I, that I had in my entire career because I thought we were going to get him out. We, and, and the high point had been about a month and a half earlier when the director of the FBI came to the Philippines and we thought we were going to get him out and we were implementing a brand new strategy under the United States government. And since it was brand new and it was very counterintuitive, the director of the FBI came to Manila, and when he and uh, when a guy running a, a Filipino office said, "Director, this is this is Chris Voss," his eyes lit up in recognition. He knew my name before mm. he'd met me, and that blew me away. Wow. I mean, I thought, "Wow, the director of the FBI is a world figure, and a world figure has heard of me." And it was a very heady moment. Yeah, we had a private meeting with the director and my my team. And I thought we were on the verge of getting the hostages out and, and under the new policy. And I told him that. I said, I, you know, I think there's a 70% chance they're out by the weekend. And, for, and I, you know, and things started to go bad immediately thereafter. And two months later, I get the call that uh, Martin Burnham was dead. And it just, mm. it, it's self-indulgent for me to say that it was bad for me because it wasn't a member of my family that died. Right. You know, it was nothing compared to what the Burnham family went through. Right. And Gracia Burnham was wounded and Martin Burnham was, was killed. Friendly fire, botched rescue attempt. Philippine military shot him, not knowing that there were hostages yeah. in, in the camp. And then there was, was a... friendly fire. Friendly fire, killed by friendly fire. The bad guys didn't kill him. Why did and it go blur- bad? The, uh, the, the scout rangers knew that they'd, they were on a routine patrol. They st- uh, we were told it was routine. Um, I don't know that they weren't guided there by another government agency, but uh, uh, they thought they would come across a camp of terrorists. They didn't believe there were hostages in the camp, and they formed a skirmish line in the tree in the tree line and opened fire. Mm. And there were hostages, and hostages were killed. And so that was for me. That was that was uh, thinking we were going to get hostages out and having them killed by the good guys mm. was was tough. Jeez. I have one last question, Chris. Where first, first off, where should we point people towards? Where should they check out online? I right, go to blackswanltd.com. B l a c k s w a n l t d like limited.com. Yeah, it's our website. You can uh, 
We've, you can sign up. We've got a free advisory uh, twice a month negotiation newsletter. It's yeah. complimentary. Yeah. Um, you know, that uh, short, sweet, uh, lots of different applications, stuff you could use every day. Yeah. Um, that's, that's for free. And then we got a lot of information about the book and, and other training that we get. Yeah. I highly recommend Never Split the Difference. And I was reading the article today, Chris, on how to get the upper hand in any take it or leave it offer. And just some really... Real short and sweet, but very applicable for any situation. Thanks, man. You talk yeah, about yeah. some of the, the mirroring and the labels and, and things like that. People should definitely sign up and check that out. Yeah, and I give you exact things to say, too, right? I yeah. Mean, some word for word Verbatim. Stuff really, Verbatim. Really yeah, I love it. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I use uh, that. I Two-sentence email saves me a couple thousand dollars just on my insurance. Um I <laughs> because I asked the question, how do we get this to be lower? Or how do we, I, I oh, think, I, think I said, like, how can we lower the rate, question mark? And that one sentence will save me thousands of dollars. Yeah. Because that, they immediately came back with lowering it. Yeah, beautiful. So, Nicely done. so thank you. Um, well done. Yeah. Last question. Um, Tell me what you learned from your son. So he's been negotiating with you since he was two, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So, and he works with you. Yep. Right? Yeah. So what's his role and, and what have you learned from him? Well, he handles, uh, we've got a, a lot of uh, internet web-based instruction. He handles that entirely. Yeah. He's really advanced the understanding of the three types. What do you and, mean? Uh, well, you know, the fight, flight, or make friends. Mm. He's been fascinated by that and has really seen the differences in the reactions. And then a lot of times we're talking stuff through. There's a phrase that we use, uh, forced empathy. I mean, why do you use empathy with someone? Because you want empathy in return. And what are the trigger moments? What forces empathy, whether the other side likes it or not? You know, and, and that's why you're trying to set up this entire dynamic. So he's really added to the depth of thought on the types and the tactical use of empathy. And, and he actually, as I've come to find out, got himself out of trouble as a teenager all bunch of times. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. And I don't know if you have a few minutes or not, but I'd love to have you talk about the services, some of the services you offer at Black Swan. Do you have another call right now? Or? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So talk about the services that people, like, what, you know, what can they hire you for or your company for or what can they explore online uh, outside of the book? Well, 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 we'll help you get better at negotiation through some of the, uh, we've got an email negotiation course that's coming out uh, that's, mm. that is out now, but it comes, you get one lesson per day for 24 days, nice. which gets you past a 21-day uh, rough threshold of bringing on a new skill. It takes about 21 days of practice to, to make something more a part of your bones. Yeah. And that's the design of that. Um, we've got... What's the structure of that? So it's an online training, so they'll get an email, um, different practice lessons. Right. You get, you get a short, sweet lesson into your e inbox once a day. The idea is, uh, since it's short and sweet, it's easy, easy to digest. You can start your day sort of aligned with a, another aspect of a negotiation skill. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great way to start your day. Yeah. And to make your negotiations that whole day uh, more effective. And so we've got that. We've got the, uh, the, the newsletter that comes up. We, uh, we've got some in-person training that we're going to do in New York later this month. Yeah, I and saw that. Yeah. It's and you so, and yeah. someone else, right? Was... Yeah, well, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's Jim Camp's son, Todd Camp. Oh, got it. Because it's, uh, the, the, the ideas are very complementary. And... So, and Todd's got a very effective coaching model that we like a lot. And we've just been collaborating in as much in appreciation to how much I like their approach. So we're giving you a dose of both. So people can, can companies hire you to do something like a, a training too? Also? And we'll, we'll tailor training for your company anywhere from a half a day to two days yeah. with a lot of supporting stuff. Yeah. Um, we can come out for a day, and then we, we're going to want to coach you because a day is a short period of time. Yeah. But we've got a lot of follow-on stuff so that it becomes part of people's bones. So there, there's training and coaching. We we can be your wingman in a negotiation. Hmm. but Really? You, 
you'll get farther if we coach you. Because their defenses go up if you're there or why? Well, um, I can get you better at negotiations faster than you can explain your business. So I'll, I'll help you get better at picking out those two millimeter changes. Yeah. And you'll get it faster because you know your business better than I do. Right. I can help your negotiation aspect. Yeah. And so that's why we coach. Yeah. Who are the companies that you've found tend to find this the most valuable? Like they see the inherent value right away. What you know, type of company? More, it's more people. people. And it's, it's, it's you know, the, the whale hunters, if you will, the big producers, uh, the people that are looking for game changing skills. Yeah. Um, so. And, I'm just saying, because if people are looking and they um, have a referral to give to you, like myself, who would be like? What would give me an idea of an example of of companies or people who have hired you? Uh, well, yeah, I, I'm giving you. Um, if if you don't already think that you're automatically a good negotiator, I mean, IT companies, the one industry that isn't kidding itself about how good it is about negotiation are really IT companies, because they're making their um, success based on nonverbal communication by and large. Mm. I'm actually trying to expand a little bit more into, into Silicon Valley these days. Yeah. Because every, everybody else on the planet, if they're successful in business, automatically assumes they're successful as negotiators. Right. Chances are you're succeeding in spite of your negotiation skills and because of your business acumen. Right. And They're compensating. Um, well, you've, you've, you've at least learned what terms are going to kill you and you're not taking those terms anymore. Yeah. And you've been suckered enough times by hope that you're no longer taking a, uh, uh, um, uh, a contract because it's going to bring you great stuff in the right. future. Yeah. You know, there are tangibles here that you can harvest. Yeah. So um, a lot, but uh, if an industry, if you will, a little bit more of the Internet-based industries, I think, are, are, yeah. are where we're going to expand more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in my opinion, go to Black Swan LTD. You'd be a fool, in my opinion, to not buy Never Split the Difference. So... Chris, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thank, thank you very you. much. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.